Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Sus classes. And uh, today we are looking at the IIT Jam Economics 2023 question paper, question number 29. So the PDF of a continuous random variable is given in this manner where lambda greater than zero is a parameter. If the sa observed sample values of x are 1.75, 2.25, 2.50, 2.75 and 3.75, then the maximum likelihood estimator of lambda is what? So first of all, we need to write down the likelihood function, which is lambda given x1 till x5. So that is basically pi of i running from 1 to 5, lambda times e to the power minus lambda xi. So that is basically lambda to the power 5, e to the power minus lambda, and x1 up till x5. So if we def now define the log likelihood which is small l lambda given x1 up till x5 so that would basically be 5 times log lambda minus lambda times summation i running from 1 to 5 xi. So to for the maximum likelihood estimator we will maximize the log likelihood to choose lambda. So del L del lambda equals to 0. So 5 by lambda minus lambda times sorry 5 by lambda so this will be minus 1 summation i running from 1 to 5 xi is equals to 0. So 5 by lambda is equals to summation xi. So what is my lambda hat Emily? 5 by summation small xi. So that would imply 5 by 12.5. So that gives me our answer as 2 by 5, which is option number D. Okay, thank you everyone. Now let us come to question number 30 of the IIT JAM Economics 2023 paper. From a set comprising of 10 students, 4 girls and 6 boys, a team of 5 students is to be formed. The probability that a randomly selected team comprises of two girls and three boys with at least one of them be B1 or B2 is equals to how much? So there are four girls and six boys out of which we need to select so total there are 10 people, 10 students. So out of which we need to select 5. So the total possible ways in which this can be done is 10 C5. Correct? Now out of the 5 students, 2 have to be girls. Correct? Total there are 4 girls, so you have to choose 2 girls out of 4, which is 4 C2. And there are, the remaining have to be three boys, out of which the condition is that at least one of them has to be B1 or B2. Okay. So now, check this. Total there are six boys. Right. So the total ways of selecting three boys out of the six would be 6C3. Correct. So, out of 3, at least B1 or B2 or both of them should be present. Okay. So, we are looking out for the total number of cases representing this. So, that can be essentially given by the total possibilities minus neither B1 or B2 is present.
So the total possibility is 6C3. There are 6 boys, you need to select 3, so that is 6C3. And if when neither of B1 or B2 is present, so essentially you will select the 3 of them out of B3, B4, B5, B6. So there are 4 options out of which you need to select 3, so that can be done in 4C3 ways. So essentially, the three boys will be selected in 6C3 minus 4C3 ways. So the required probability would be 4C2 into 6C3 minus 4C3 divided by 10C5. To simplify this, you will be getting your answer as 8 by 21, which is option number C over. Thank you.